Welcome back, everybody. Little Fish here with another blind bag review. And today I have three Funko blind bags to share with you guys: two Steven Universe pint size heroes and one Disney emoji my emoji. So without much further ado, let's get started. And I think we'll begin with one of the Steven Universe pint size heroes. And as per usual, we'll take a look at the packaging first. So this blind bag was made by Funko. Collect them all. Pint size heroes, Steven Universe, and it has Steven right on the top. And we have Amethyst, Lapis, and Garnet. And the bag was sealed improperly. As you can see, it's actually open already because of the way it was sealed. Every bag in this box was sealed really weird. So you could basically kind of see who was inside. Not 100% certain, but we'll leave that as a surprise. There is a little peep window in the top right there. Though it's pretty difficult to see who's in the bag when the little insert pops in the way. The bags do have tear strips on both sides. These are vinyl figures and they're meant for the ages above three due to small parts that could be considered choking hazards. Turning it around, and on the back you have Garnet. Steven in the big donut uniform shirt. It says Pine Size Heroes, and there's also Pearl. Steven Universe is property of Cartoon Network. Again, we were released by Funko. Made in Vietnam. It's a little bit more information about the distribution and more information about Funko and the choking hazards. And now that we've taken a closer look at the packaging, let's open it up and see who we've got. And right out of the bag, we have the insert that has all the characters you could collect in this series. So Pint Size Heroes, Funko, and Cartoon Network, collect them all. And there are 16 characters in all to collect, though there are variants of some of the characters. And then on the back, you just have a little mini poster. And it would have been nice if they had switched up some of these mini posters, because as nice as the mini poster is, it's kind of lame having so many of the same one poster. And we have Lion! This is a character I definitely wanted from the series, and he's actually a lot cuter and a lot nicer than I was expecting. We have his little pink ears in his light pink mane, little heart-shaped nose. His feet he is in a sitting position. Let's see if his body can move. His head does move, but his mane is getting a little bit in the way. But you can see that it does move. His legs drawn on the front. There's a little excess paint over there, but that's not bad at all. A little bit of a weird seam line right there, or maybe that's also excess plastic or paint. And from the bottom, and from the top. From this angle, he kind of looks like a little piggy. Again, from the back. And that is his tail. And here we have Lion, super cute. And now that we've taken a look at our pink guardian, let's move on to the next blind bag. And I think I'm going to go for the Disney emoji, my emoji. So here we have the final collectible Disney emoji, my emoji. And in the little word bubbles, it says Disney emoji. And it has another little bubble with Sully, Mickey, and a love struck Ariel, my emoji. And the background has a bunch of clouds, stars, and it fades from blue to purple to pink. And on the bottom, we have Elsa, Mickey, and a love struck Bambi. These are also vinyl figures meant for the ages above three due to small parts that could be considered choking hazards. And the bag does have a little peep window so you can get a tiny little glimpse at who might be inside. And the bag does have tear strips for easy opening. Now that I look at it, there's a peep hole on both sides of the bag. That might give you an even easier time to see who's inside. Moving to the back, it says go to disney.com slash emoji. I guess to download the emojis. Same thing on the front with Disney emoji and the Sully, Mickey, and Ariel, my emoji. And then you have a laughing stitch, a scary Sully, and a funny Ariel. And then we have Funko, not for the ages under three, and property of Disney Pixar. And these were made in China. So here we have the packaging of the Disney emoji, my emoji. And now that we've taken a look at it, let's open it up and see who we have inside. So right off the bat, that paint smell, that horrible paint smell. But we have a silly stitch. And there is no insert on the inside to tell you who or what you can get in these bags. But here's one of them, a silly stitch. He's got his tongue sticking out. 
his mouth and eyes are painted on, but his nose is sculpted to the face along with his little scruff and his ears. From the back. Kind of wish that they had painted the mark on the back of his head as well as the tips of his ears. So they missed a little bit of an opportunity. Plus there's some ick on the back of his head. I guess they were really just focusing on the front of his face and from the bottom and from the top and side view. And this is the Silly Stitch Disney Emoji Funko My Emoji. It's pretty cute and it's got some weight to it and it looks like he'd be pretty roly-poly and it's actually pretty nice. Let's move on to the next blind bag. And here we have our last blind bag, the Steven Universe pint-sized hero. We've already taken a look at the packaging, so let's open it right up. Same insert as the last. All the different characters you can collect. Same mini poster, of course. And in this bag, we have Jasper. She looks like such an angry little bowling pin. So this is Jasper. Her rarity is one out of every 24 packages, while Lion, which we saw earlier, is one out of every 12. So she's a little bit more rare. It's got a little bit of a paint and seam issue. As you can see, a piece of her hair is chipped off. There is a lot of excess glue between her hair, and there's a big seam gap between her head and her hair. And there's also some ick right over there, really bad melding of the hair. Poor extrusion or a bad paint job, not really sure, but some excess plastic as well. She's a light orange with a dark orange stripe across her face. And again, you can really see all that excess glue shining on her face around her hairline. They probably could have done a better job with that. It's just so much glue. Her hair is kind of in eggshell white or off-white. There's a little bit of splotching right there as well. And again, pretty bad seam between the face and the hair. There's some scuffing or paint burn on the top of her shirt. See that white, dusty looking bit right there? As opposed to the rest of her uniform, which isn't too bad. And then there's some shiny or excess paint over there as well. And you can see the stripes on her arms. And the paint job of her teeny tiny little feet. Her diamond seems to be missing a corner. And the paint job on her other arm. From the bottom and from the top. If you're feeling out the bags, you can kind of feel the spikes of her hair a little bit. Again, the icky paint. Some paint burns through the paint on her face. And unlike Lion, you cannot move her head, it does not move, her body does not move, unless that's another issue with the glue and her body's just glued to stay put, which would be unfortunate, but I think she's not meant to move. And this is our angry little bowling pin, that would be Jasper. Normally I would say I really like this figure, but with all the paint and glue issues and the fact that some of her hair and seam lines don't seem to match up, I gotta say, I'm not too happy with this one. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Have any of you had the same issues with your pint-sized heroes? So, here we have it, our three Funko Blind Bag characters. From the Steven Universe series, we have Lion and Jasper. And from the Disney Emoji Funko My Emojis, we have Silly Stitch. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Of all these figures, which one do you like the most? I seem to have a lot of troublemakers here. Wouldn't you agree? I better watch my back until next review. But until then, if you like this review, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and to get notifications give that bell a little ring and for further content you can always follow me on tumblr instagram and twitter and until next time everybody